Hello again everybody, it's Effing Controller playing more Mountain Blade Warband with the Floris mod install. I don't know if I'm gonna keep calling it that, I'll probably just call it Floris. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we've just uh, made it through a tournament. We ended up probably ranking very, very middling, uh, which is possibly somewhat humbling for our character, very cleverly named Effington. And um, he's, he's um, looking to, to restore himself after that slight, perhaps. So, um... He wants to go venture around and prove himself. He 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 kind of sees the point of what his um, his noble master told him that he needs to go out and actually you know do something and actually be a hero in order to really earn the right to be as loud and obnoxious as he is. So um, he's gonna get equipped, but he's gonna run into a small problem. He doesn't have a whole lot of skrilla. You see, as the kids say, he's very poor as a, as it seems. We have 65 dinars. We could sell this ludicrous short sword um, for some money but will we really be able to get anything no that would be kind of nice to have but it's far too expensive so he's stuck in his ridiculous attire and weaponry for the time being um, I wonder if I can couch that well we'll find out um, so he's gonna leave and he's going to search out the highlands here for honor and glory he's going to ride forth into the greater, wider world and seek out combat. There's 18 looters ahead of him. He chickens out miserably. He's gonna have to figure out how to get around these crazy, fucked up guys. Okay, he's gonna run away. <laughs> there you go. Good job, Effington. There's 10 of them. He sees that the hills are indeed infested with uh, looter scum. So. Um, he, he thinks very highly of his ability to lead. He's going to go to this village and say, Hail, peasants! Is there any amongst you with the courage to face the yonder group of fucking looters? And there's two drunk guys, apparently, that decide to join him. Hey, we'll fight with you, whatever, man. Give us 20 gold. Okay, and he apparently hears a rumor from these guys that there's a tournament being held in Call. He isn't really ready for another tournament. So he's gonna go, oh, that's 21 looters. He's he's um, now getting a little bit less uh, courageous. Yeah, He's gonna ride over here now. 10 looters, that's one thing. 9 looters, even better! Charge, men! What did you just say to me? Give us your coin, I might let you live. Why are you so very tiny, Effington? Alright, well, let's charge. Alright. It says, hold on, peasants. Come to me. Come to your benevolent and relatively idiotic master. He does at least realize that uh, high ground is probably a good decision. Actually, he might have... The wherewithal, the, the moral fortitude to go and ride ahead. He did see that these guys were on foot, so he feels relatively secure on his... his well, I was going to say horse. It is actually a donkey. <laughs> How fitting. An ass on an ass. Ow! And that probably hurt a little bit. Shots fired in anger. He's gonna kite them mercilessly. He's gotten them angry. They're chasing him. He is going to exploit that. He's definitely a jerk that way. Ha! He killed him. Again, he's, he's not sure about this whole killing business, but now he's uh, he, he's done it a few times now, and he's, he's probably getting a little bit more used to it. You know, as a squire, he probably, you know, it's not unreasonable to think that a squire would have already seen combat. Um, this is kind of lame, I admit, watching him just ride around and plink shots of, uh, with his crossbow. But, again, it probably isn't out of the question for him to have um, been in some battle. Probably not as a real aggressive participant, but, again, it's still a possibility. Uh, he's gonna ride back to his buddies. His newfound drunken friends, his companions. Where are they? They're over here. 
Interesting. Maybe he's gonna have the courage to actually... Not in the face! Not in the face! Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Stick a fork in him. Did I already make that joke? Well, it's gonna happen again. And again, and again, and again. I hate... I just hate... I can't. Ow. Well, it looks like my uh, Rodok companions are... Not doing very well, actually. Get him! Get him! Go for the balls! Yes! You're amazing! Ha! Yeah! Go ahead and throw shit. Oh no. Oh, you're on your own! <laughs> Good luck! Best wishes! Uh-oh. Well, fortunately, that guy and the other guy probably are not dead. The reason I say that is that these guys are apparently using clubs, even though that guy's a huge axe. Look at the axe on that guy! And uh, clubs don't kill, they just knock people unconscious for purposes that we'll talk about later. That is not the tab key. See? Too wounded, not dead. That's good. Uh-oh. That is quite a nice uh, little sword for those gentlemen to have. Uh, we're going to take all this. Well, as much of it is is worth taking. And that's an improvement, even though it'll look silly, but... He probably is too vain to wear something like that. <laughs> all right. What's the reach on that? 60. Doesn't do... We'll probably... Oh, that's actually a nice little sword, even though the reach isn't that good. Hmm. Fascinating. We'll equip that. Okay, that's good. Alright, so we have advanced in level, and maybe he's gotten a little wiser to the ways of the world. We'll give him a point in intelligence. <laughs> All right, so, uh, and then we'll also give him a point in, he's got two here, maybe a point in tactics, and uh, persuasion's a little bit of a hard sell. He did manage to get those two drunk idiots to join him, but that's not really very persuasive. We'll give him uh, a point in power draw, and that'll be fine. So he's won a great victory on the field of battle, and now he's going to sell the shit that he got. Even though he's uh, a little bit uh, embarrassed to be... Um... Well, actually, no, this is Veluka. We were in Jalkala before, so he's... You know, he's okay about being here. Jalkala, he might be a little bit... You know, he would never admit it, but he probably would be a little bit uncomfortable there. Okay, that has got to be sold. Even though it's a great sword, that's a lot of money to have at the start of the game. And I'm sorry, I, I just got to game that. Um, shoot, though, he'd be so covetous of that. Nope. I'm going to be disciplined. I'm going to be appropriate. He's going to use this sword, and he's going to sell his crappy old sword that was probably a gift to him from his father, who has snubbed him. He's probably like, fuck you, dad. I know. <laughs> I know better than you. All right, so there's some looters that are chasing those farmers. <laughs> We're gonna go into town and say, we've won a great victory against a, a group of really awful looters. Come join me for fame and honor. And some guys would say, yeah, I'll go, why not? Okay. All right, 15 looters is a lot. He's still a little bit of a coward. He does probably, for all of his moronic tendencies, realize that he can't really do this alone. Um, he does need help. Good evening, villagers! I am an amazing warrior, and I do wonderful deeds on the battlefield. Come do similar deeds yourselves under my guidance. It wasn't very persuasive. Very good. Well, good day to you then. All right. 
We have four. Oh, yeah, and we also have upgrades. We can upgrade these Citadinos. Um, Reluctas or Novizios. Well, let's take a look at the troop tree. That's not the right screen. Reports. Da -da 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 -da. What am I doing? Upgrade trees. Thank you. It's going to take a second here. Rodox. Okay, so they start out as Citadinos. And it depends on where you want these guys to end up. It looks like if we really it doesn't make a difference which we pick. But I want the the thing that Rodox are really famous for is their um, crossbowmen, and having crossbowmen is really nice. Um, let's see what this guy's equipped with. He's got a pickaxe and some forks and stuff. This is just their possible equipment, equipments. Uh, but let's look at the Novizio. He's a little bit possibly better armored. It looks like. Oh no, they're similar. Uh. I think I'm going to go with the Relucta, because as bad as I am with um, Spears, the AI tends to be a little bit better, as we have learned. So we're going to upgrade these guys to Reluctas. And again, we can upgrade these guys. Um, oh, there's only one of them able to upgrade. Oh, well. Um, meanwhile, like I say, if we, if we, either one of those, we'll be able to get where we want to go, so that's okay. We're gonna go to this village and deliver a similarly moving and uh, inspiring speech. And we managed to persuade four brilliant young men into our service. Despite our own relative lack of brilliance. Alright. We're riding through the countryside singing songs of our own amazingness. And our morale is not that high. We're being chased by another pack of looters. And I say to you, villagers, you are damning yourselves by not joining me in the fight against the knaves who trouble you so. I'm taking this a bit far, but I'm having fun, goddammit. Alright. Let's, let's go to this. I don't, just, just get away, guys. There we go. My friends, there are looters on the very brink of your village. You must... Okay, no one cares. Fine. Fine. Very good, then. I will leave you to your fate. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're at the frontier of the lands of the Rodox. He's probably not too interested in going into Swadian lands because the Rodox and the Swadians are basically more or less constantly at war with each other and he he doesn't think very highly of the swadians for sure so he's just going to kind of poke around here maybe a little bit my force morale is sinking by the day we should probably get some more interesting food than cabbages that is going to be one loud camp could you pass me another plate of cabbage excuse me oh jesus fart humor that is always a winner I'm going to ride to this village and um, purchase some victuals, some vittles. Uh, supplies. Cheap grapes. <laughs> no. Um, he would not debase himself by eating simple grain. We will continue to perhaps a more well-provisioned town. Ah! Prey! Um, oh god, there's a lot of them there. Get them! Okay, get them now. You're good. Go for it. Push it to the limit. So two of our, um, our, our companions are wounded, but no matter. We will take you to, to your makers, etc. Alright. Onward, men! I shall lead you to another glorious victory with my magical amazing sword. Oh, that is pretty. Alright. Should probably consider getting him a less completely ridiculous shield. Damn it. Huh! 
Come at me, etc. <laughs> Die. Die for your misdeeds. Looks like one of my companions died for his misdeeds. Ow. Come on. How about you, ye knave? Ooh. Handling them. None of you have the fiber to challenge me? Fiber is an important part of your diet. Don't neglect it or else you won't be able to produce shit. I produce shit on a daily basis as a YouTube Let's Player. Ow! Yeah, I would... That's the game saying that joke was really strained and not funny. He might be somewhat alarmed at the uh, untimely demise of some of his colleagues there. He's definitely willing to, uh, play the, uh, play hard to get. Ha <laughs> ha You do not ride on a horse, or actually on a donkey as I do. I shall ride you down like grass. Ow. Ha! I am victorious. Ha ha ha! I will ride among your dead bodies and laugh and gloat over your demise. You are idiots. I am amazing. We gained a point of renown. Okay, so this is a slight improvement. He might be willing to get out of his skirt. I mean, kilt. Oops. And uh, those boots look super silly, but we're going to get them. We're going to take them. All right. Actually, again, he's very fashionable. He is definitely willing to be impractical at the expense of, uh, or in the, in the name of being uh, slightly less ridiculous looking. Because those bo boots, if I do say so myself, are, are quite nice. Okay. So some of my party members are ready to be upgraded. And we have decided, oh no, we lost our actual good one. Well, I forget which one we decided was better. Oh. Pick the wrong one. Well, we'll have a little bit of a mix and match there. That's fine. Okay. So, I'm going to go back to um, Veluca here. Ah. Now, he would be willing to engage these fellows, but he is all alone. And he's thinking better of it. He perhaps is getting a little bit more of a sense of his own limitations here. All right. I'm going to ride to Veluca after avoiding very cunningly the uh, nearby looters and keeping his wounded companions safe and sound and snuggy. Very good. Go to Veluca and prepare to sell. And we're gonna probably... Oh, you know, one thing I haven't done is gone to the tavern. He definitely would like to take a trip to the tavern to go and gloat about how excellent he is. Um, but we're also gonna try to buy him... Now, the, the unfortunate thing about the uh, Rodox is their shields are just totally stupid. Like, if you look at this, it's a little tiny buckler, and it's cheap, of course, but we want something more like this. Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to use it. Um, this is also the other thing, too, is that other than bucklers, they tend to use pavises, which are huge, massive shields that are meant to be hidden behind. Uh <laughs> which would probably suit him just fine, but they can't really be used on a horse or a donkey, as the case may be. So he's not going to partake in any of those. Um, we're going to go to the goods merchant. Oh, he does like himself some sausage. It's expensive. Oh, boy, he's, his mouth is just watering at the prospect of wrapping his mouth around a big, long sausage. But uh, I think that we're going to be a little bit more sensible about our money. Maybe some bread. That's a little bit expensive, actually, but we're going to go ahead and buy it. He's he's willing to splurge a little bit. All right. Again, not completely completely sensible, but he's, he's starting to get an idea of how this all works. All right, we're going to go to the tavern. Up the stairs. 
Barkeep, my men and I require whores. Oh, there's a lot of men in here. Outstanding. Ah, okay, so we've actually got several companions here, it looks like. Well, at least two. We have two companions. Two is several in my world, do not question it. So these two guys over here, Ferentis and Sajad. They are recruitable companions, and I don't remember um, what they're going to want out of us in order to join. Sometimes they require nothing at all, but we're going to find out. We'll talk to this, this strapping fellow here. He looks exotic and like he's... he's Possibly very experienced, could be useful. We'll find out. Yes, what do you want? Well, you look like a soldier. What are you doing all alone? Hey, soldier. I could ask you the same, but since you were first, I'm Sajad, a soldier of the Order of the Crescent Moon, send out, sent out into the world to prove my worth and wipe out the shame of my early life. Hmm. <laughs> That's a very similar story to Effington's, but he is oblivious to that similarity. Once I was abandoned until I saw the light and followed its path to salvation. Once my faith became strong, I sought out the order that called out to me. They were glad that a warrior like me wanted to mend his ways, but they were also wary. In times past, many bandits have pretended to be pious only to loot and plunder the monastery after darkness had fallen. But not me. No, I'm here to show everyone that my faith is real. I confess that I haven't always been the easiest person also in my time at the monastery. That's why the headmaster himself called me one day and sent me out into the world, only to return when I truly have amended my old ways. So here I am, looking for guidance in this cruel world. Well, um... I don't think he would, He probably would be pretty indifferent to the, the uh, moral import of his story. He just needs somebody with a strong arm and uh, willingness to fight and to make him look good. And maybe this guy, you know, he has a nice story to be sure, and that might, you know, make him look good residually. <laughs> make, make him look like a, a generous and... He does, definitely, Effington probably does want to just be liked by people. And, uh, he's definitely willing to flatter to get what he wants and to get, um, get somebody on his side so that he himself can, uh, work towards greater things. So there you go. Let's, let's see if he is interested. I could always use a good soldier. Heavens have guided me, t or have guided you to me, sir. It would help me greatly if you'd keep me on the right track. <laughs> well, that might not happen. This has all the, all the trappings of a zany madcap buddy comedy, to prevent me from falling to, for the many distractions this world has to offer. Oh, boy. Being alone in this hostile world is not the best way for a former scound former scoundrel seeking the right path. The heavens must have led us cross paths so you could show me the show me the way. The heavens. Definitely, yes, they guided me to you. What a cock. But before I could join you, oh, you must show me your true and kind spirit. How about a small donation to the Order, which would help them spread the faith more quickly? 300 dinars would seem fine enough to convert a small village. Well, I don't have the money. That might be kind of a turnoff for him anyway. So anyway, we're going to just uh, move on to this fella. Have a chat with this red-headed devil, Ferentis. I am lost, lost. Why so gloomy, friend? I have committed the greatest of sins, sir, and it is to my shame that I must appoint you my confessor, if you should like to hear it. I don't, but, meh, whatever. I was a captain of horse in the service of the lord here in Veluca, and my brother served with me, but we were both in love with the same woman, a courtesan, a temptress, which immediately is interesting to Effington, who played upon our jealousies. My brother and I quarreled, I had drunk too much, he slapped me with his glove, and I spit him upon my sword. Oh, like a kebab, I see what he's saying. Mm. My own brother, spinning in front of a heating element, waiting for unctuous bits of his flesh to be shaved off into a waiting pita slice. Um, okay. My, my sword arm was stained with the blood of my kin. Do you believe there is hope for a man like me? Can I find the path of righteousness, or am I doomed to follow the demons that dwell inside of me? Uh, well, uh, I like how kind of glib this is. Well, you could join us, you know, you would, you get, you know, right wrongs, fight oppressors, redeem yourself, all that kind of shit. That kind of thing. Yes! You must have been sent by divine providence. Oh, sure, yeah. That, that's, uh, yeah. That's my street name, or my pimp's name. Um, lead me. Lead me away from darkness. I'm well practiced in the arts of war, but I beg you, sir, I wish to use my skills to defend the innocent, the pure, the defenseless, not to be a common brigand and wreak more misery than I've already wrought. Oh, yeah, sure. We're not going to do any of those naughty things. 
Get your stuff together. We'll be on our way. Excellent. Ferentus has joined us. Ferentus is actually a nice companion. Um, let's, let's talk to him. For some reason, our, some of your companions, well, all of your companions, get these titles beforehand. And I think it's because of something that will happen later in the game. But uh, we'll deal with that um, then. Which is actually going to be quite a ways later. But anyways. Um, so we've got a new buddy. Ferentus. Friendly Ferentus. Let's talk to him real quick. Um, let's not ever talk about books. Books are for losers and shut-ins. Um, uh, let me see your skills real quick. So, Ferentis is, as he said, very well skilled, but his charisma is low probably because he's a horrible person for killing his brother. Uh, he's got some good skills. He's a good line infantryman. Um, he does have some writing ability, actually. I forgot about that. But So you can give him a donkey or whatever. <laughs> Um, but we're happy to have him along. He does actually come with a sword, too, which is very, very nice. So we're off to a pretty good start with him. It's unfortunate that we couldn't recruit the other dude, but oh well. So here we are in Voluka. Uh, I think this is a good spot to stop and maybe uh, spend an afternoon gallivanting around town um, without Ferentis knowing what we're doing, maybe hiring the services of one of the aforementioned courtesans, which you can't do in this game, but we'll pretend. Uh, pretend on your own time. I don't want to hear about it. Okay, so that's that. Uh, this has been Effing Controller playing uh, Mountain Blade Warband with the Floris mod, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.